Hey everybody, this is Cyrock Omega, and welcome... Welcome back! Here at Primitive Cells 4, streaming for the first time in... Four months. It's been a bit of a hiatus. Hiatus? But I, but I want to stream some EU4. And how's it going? I'm guessing you changed your name. Like, you are no longer Furry Yapper, you're just Yapper. Yeah, it came out today. So I decided to uh, take the day off from working on something else to instead do this. I would, going forward, chances are I'm going to be streaming on this channel once a week. Probably. Probably going to be Saturday evenings. Or, like, sat yeah. Something like that. That's kind of going to be the goal. I don't want to totally stop streaming here. Yeah, I gave you the wrong idea. That's kind of like the first thought I had when I saw your username too, man. Uh, so yeah, this DLC came out. And uh, uh, it changed a lot of stuff up with Africa. Is what the DLC does. And some cool stuff that apparently the main features of the patch that goes along with it. Um... Sure, let's play a little bit of this, huh? Hold on, is my... Oh, yeah. I've been playing some multiplayer as Dolly, which is like one of the dudes that Ming can spit out. I've been doing multiplayer off-stream with a friend of mine. Exquisite, what's up, man? Uh... Yeah, we'll see if they mess up the game, how bad it will be. Hmm. One, one second, though. Alright. But yeah, it's, um... I've been working on a lot of other stuff. So, I am, uh... Why are there already three people watching? I come back from not streaming for a quarter... No, a third of the year... You folks are already here. What are you doing? What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm glad to have you, though. Uh, right, so like, basically all the stuff they added is in Africa, and that's pretty cool. So, I've already played as Ethiopia a lot. Yeah, the new Jewish mechanics. That's interesting. Uh, it's... who? who is it that starts Jewish? Anyone? Hold on, no, it's... You actually have to release. You have to let these rebels succeed or something. They're just Protestant now. Uh. Um. Okay. Um. So yeah, a lot of stuff has been changed up with Africa. And once upon a time, I played as Congo. Poorly. So poorly that I had to restart like three times, and even then, none of them were worth even uploading to YouTube. So, I'm gonna try them now, with their new missions. Fire it up! Uh... Uh, you know what? Perfect name. Gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things you never have. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh. We're in a state. State of things. Yeah. We'll see. I think we'll just mothball... ...you. Absolutely. You guys, I guess? I'm not gonna be worth it. You just protect trade. So, we are Congo. We've got Loanga and Nadongo... ...as my vassals. She was a cult, apparently. I haven't actually played with these mechanics. Ever. 
Uh, Thomas the Tooth Vase, dis Discipline, Improved Relations. Um, we're probably going to want to go with the Discipline. The cherished tradition of the old Katara Empire. By keeping well with the spirits of nature and by cherishing our Katara ancestors and lin lineages that keep their shrines protected, we can be sure to keep divine favor. So I'm wondering, like, our like when you say if if this DLC is worth its spit, did it? Is it not been reviewing well or something? What are people saying? Drum roll, please. Mixed reviews. Okay. You know, I'm a sucker for this stuff, so I, I always go balls deep from the get-go. Uh, uh, keep your shrines for the divine favor. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, you forgot. All right, Lyra. Through oracles, we can communicate with our dead ancestors and the spirits of nature. This way we can be sure that we honor those that came before us and acquire help to handle the hostile environment that surrounds us. Yeah. Dude, I don't... I can't not do it, man. I can't not. Why are there seven... Why are there seven people watching? Who are you? Why do you come here? Glad to have you, but why? Alright. Uh, Moari, which is the one we're probably going to be going for. We honor the great god Moari who created this world from nothing and who makes mountains tremble when he speaks. Moari is the only true god and his oracle and voice on this earth is our ruler. Jackies, what's up, man? How you doing? How you been? Alright, so, Congo. Uh, let's take a look at our missions. That's probably one of the more important... They changed up this. I guess they... Or it's probably just like a generic prayer symbol. Like, hands together as opposed to a cross. Which it will probably be once we become... Uh, cat Christian. Every religion about Protestant mechanics eventually. It's religion singularity. You see, that's the thing about Protestantism. It's so unified and... Everything in Protestantism is all the same. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, the missions. We've got Meet the Other Cults. Uh, yeah, I don't really care to do many of these. Because I'm going to be changing the Christian. I'm going to be converting. And once I do that... We'll see if I want to stay Catholic or go Protestant or Reformed or something. They say they buffed Catholicism, so maybe we'll stick with Catholicism. Uh, anyway. Alright, we need to integrate these guys in order to get... Oh wow, support for feudalism, that's good. You probably want to... Feed... Let's feed that guy to you. Maybe feed a bit of that to you. I don't know how they buffed it. They just kind of said they buffed it in that beginning blurb. All right, we want that. Hmm. Actually, maybe I don't want feed that because we want to get this. 25 years. Or maybe we want to wait on that one. 100% force, military advisor, gain a state privilege, primacy of the money. Oh, wow. That's a lot of permanent cores, or claims. Uh, Matumba? That's, yeah, that's basically... Orkasi? Those are the bonuses you can buy for Pope points. Okay. Is it, is it going to be worth it if I'm not in Europe? Okay, I think this may be one of the first ones we want to go for. Look. Excuse me? Alright. Hold on now. 
Development at least 30. At least 5, currently 1. Wow, alright. Alright, this is good. This is very good. Holy crap, that's good. Alright. Uh... One kind of do both of these. Idea cost institution. Ooh, these are good. All right, hold on. I need to embrace feudalism. I don't think I really need to deal with feudalism until everyone else has feudalism. Hmm. Okay, now we're back down to four viewers, which is honestly still more than I deserve. <laughs> All right. Let's definitely start working on... All right, first of all, royal marriage here. Royal marriage here. Alright, um... How many slots do I have? I have one more slot. It'd just be easier to feed them. Rally to that guy, that's good. Alright, so we absolutely want to build a spy network on these guys. I'm probably just... <laughs> Didn't realize they released a new expansion. Alright. Um, who's the most powerful back here, I wonder? Like, al allying with one of them sounds like a good idea. One percent conversion against heathens. Cool. Yeah, I want to spy on them. I'm not going to bother with anyone else. I think I want to use... Alright. Who are you... Rival to them? Go and improve relations with the... Let's... Hmm. Uh... Military... That's a little different. Alright, so I'm the strongest that I know of. Mutapa? That's in the Far East. Kilwa? Are you? No, I want to know who of these guys is the strongest. Um, you know, I think these guys are probably good. Wow, instantly losing... Jeez. Okay, um... Like, I don't need permanent claims if I can feed it to my other dudes. I don't need claims if I feed the territory to my other guys. Um, hmm. So we're just kind of waiting at the moment. Also, you. I don't even have a tech to drill. Okay. Uh, okay, what am I doing now? I want...
What do I want to do? I'm blanking. What am I doing? Yeah, my air is, a uh, good Diplo. That's it, though. That's unfortunate. Uh, hmm. Alright, right. I, I was looking at... I wanted to try and get this finish finished. Miss mission finished. I'm gonna see the money. Take a look at those. That's actually good. Pretty alright with that. Uh, giving the money free reign over our military would strengthen our capacities considerably, even if it may cost us dearly compensating their contributions. What? Um, hmm. Alright, that's unfortunate there, but this will help us in the shorter... Okay, what is my military looking like? I need four more dudes. Can I afford four more dudes? Yeah. Well. Barely. Uh, hmm. Let's not bother with it until we get this guy. Although... We do it by the time we're fighting this guy. I'll have a permanent claim on it. Hmm. Let's at least get a claim on you first. Like getting this around the time, and doing this when we are starting to get the institution is probably the best way to do it. Oh, they've already got a claim on it. Um, hmm. All right, we just gotta. All right, hold on. Gotta do this, and then as soon as we have it, we only need the advisor for a moment. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Um, get more dev provinces. I think they did. That was one of the changes. There was one of the changes in the patch that said, like, hey, this is gonna... This is gonna be fixed. Like, it's gonna... They're nerf... They nerfed natives, at least for the AI. Okay, military advisor slot. Morale dude, or lady. Cool. Alright, found an army. Congo traditionally never had any kind of army. At best, there was a royal guard which ensured the safety of our Mwene Congo. But otherwise, we always had to rely on an unprofessional peasant army. While it worked in the past, it is not a solid strategy for the future. We need to establish a permanent army. So it gets claims on basically everything. Basically everything up to there, that's pretty good. 
All right. And we are going to be in debt very shortly. I can't even boot you until next month. Expensive. All right, let's get on get on in here real quick. Yeah, we'll take it for our vassal, because I want to. Well, okay. Let me let's think about this. Got a permanent claim on it. Is it worth? This is very nice. Getting this early doesn't matter, but having this will lend itself well to this. Like, just like, where I start getting feudalism, I pour development into it in order to get this. And also getting this early will also help. So yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm leaning towards taking it for myself. Alright, sorry lady. I need the money. Alright, let's go for it. All right, we easily outnumber them. War were declared. Let's go down to like three speed because these guys could cause us problems. All right, how many dudes do we need to siege this? In fact, that's yours. I will leave. And guy here. This, ain't, this is your job. All I need to do is I like, crush this. Right, thankfully, they're going for my vassal. Perfect. Also very good. Yeah, definitely. You... Absolutely, your objective is yours. Play this game all day, my guy. Maybe I can. <laughs> oh, well, you're locked there anyway, so... I don't care. Whatever. It'll be fine. You got plenty more guys. Perfect. Make sure they don't build any more dudes, which they probably are right now. I should have activated the cult, but I think what I want to do is I want to improve relations. Because everyone's going to get pissed at me. Start with, like, you.
Look at that vassals. All right, Shrine Spirit, the representative of one of the largest shrines in our country, has sought an audience with the Mwene Congo, asking us to find an extension and acquire more priests for the Kwezi Spirit that resides there. According to the custodian of the shrine, while not neglected, is not fit to house our great ancestors, and they have us know that we cannot expect great things as long as we don't do something about this. This would be worry a worrying thing in itself, but it also seems a lo uh, logical... It seems a local demagogue has latched onto this. With Nakuu being so vilified by local clergy, it's hard not to suspect the two are cooperating. Oh, that's a mm, base tax increase. We'll give the priestess free hands. I'll be taking a loan for this, but I think it's... I think it'll be worth it. Who are we taking a loan from? What is our banking sector looking like? In Congo in 1447. Come on, couldn't win a coin flip. I don't know. English is a silly language. Uh, how much? Could we just eat this? Got, like, no aggressive expansion. Take all your money. We got claims on all of it. Might as well? Tasty. Well, turn down maintenance. Next mission is to have this... Well, having those dudes is so useful. Oh no, I need to corn that. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Alright, lose a hundred autonomy. I'm gonna crank that up. We have to deal with less problems. Problems being rebels. Let's ally. Eh. Sure. They're not have flames on them. I can save them for. If not last, then close to it. Like, we can take these dudes, then move to the north, maybe south a bit. We can just, like, encircle them. <laughs> See about other allies as well. Do you have any other friends? That's nice. That little thing there, it's saying that they are, that says what their relation is to me, how they're feeling about me. Also, let's repay this loan for the heck of it. And we're just gonna chill for a minute. I would love to get feudalism pretty early, but I really don't think I need to work on it that early.
Yeah, it, it is nice borders. Pretty much a very clear line. Ah. Yeah, I can wait. I can wait on killing Lunda. I've got bigger fish. We got five div five dudes, which is more than them and equal to them, so that's a good sign. You are allied to those two. You are allied to them. So I think I would want to go for these guys next. Oh, this is a new song. Alright, so development at least 30. Oh, man, now I'm really thinking about it. This is really good. It instantly gives me feudalism in my capital. That's very nice. I mean, I'm not going to be able to even annex you... ...till 1454, so I probably shouldn't even think about it yet. So, as soon as that happens, though, I would like to be able to get it. So, I mean, we're probably going to sit here for a little bit. Like, getting this would be huge. Uh, at least five have ten developments and development at least 30. So what are we looking at right now? What, what is that? What was that again? Oh, my capital needs development at least 30. And all provinces owned film at at least 10. Wow. That's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, maybe I should have done that before expanding. How are we looking? Six? Eight? Uh, that one's not that bad. Thirty, though. Damn. Why is this guy's name Pedro? <laughs> I've got, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a diplomat named Pedro. Go get him, Pedro. I just love the idea that he's like, he's like conspicuously like Spanish or something. That it's like you are in this this glorious capital. In like. In Central Africa, and then there's this dude over here that's like speaking Spanish and everything. It's like, what are you doing here? It's 1448. I don't know. I don't know either, man. What am I doing here? <laughs> a group of priestesses, led by a powerful sorceress, has arrived in the Banza Congo, seeking our hospitality. Do the secret ways. The ship got wrecked at sea. Maybe. You know, I don't think. The Portuguese have even rounded, like, the Cape of Guinea or whatever. But somehow Pedro's hanging out here, just like, it's 11. 
uh, through the secret ways of spirit possession, they can parlay directly with the great quasi spirits of old. Refusing the request for hospitality is not really an option. The kind of support we give to this group will likely influence the kind of support we can expect from Wene Congo. Was a little money gain prestige. Ooh, stability. That could be nice. Alright, so five prestige. Not huge where we're at. Oops. I did not mean to select that. That was actually probably the worst option. Well, whatever. We'll live with it. Oh, and also I can do this. Any great power is less than 50 war score against us. Um, that's where I'm not going to be for a while. Oh, also we're trying to conquer all of Africa. <laughs> There's an achievement for that. In a hundred power projection. Holy crap. Hmm. Growth of cities attracts serfs. I don't think we have either of those things. Serfs or cities. Oh, we got iron here. That's nice. See, like this guy, Ilunga Yola, that sounds pretty. Congolese, from my very basic understanding of Congolese. Alright, so. The Makoko's Copper. The King of Tayo, the so-called Makoko, rules over Enziku and its rich copper, uh, copper sources. Historically, we did not have any dispute with the people of to uh, Tyo. But this copper is of excellent quality, and it is needed within our own kingdom for civil and military use. It would be beneficial if Tio became an integrated part of Congo. Alright, so right now, this will give us minus 100% autonomy, and a good bit of money. Excellent. All right, so this will give us, ooh. That is the Sankura and Luba areas. Oh wow, so this, this direction actually wants us to continue north and not deal with Wanda yet. So that's nice. They know what we want to do. You know, this whole our whole mission is to get Pedro back to Iberia. Whether that be Portugal, uh, Castile, Aragon, Granada, I don't know. We must bring Pedro home. We're doing this for you, Pedro. We're doing this for you. Okay, let's let the month tick, and then hopefully... Uh, that's probably still not going to give us anything. Point zero 0.01. No, I think we can leave that one be. Ally to them. Good thing Pedro will live forever, too. No matter how many times he gets caught fabricating claims, or whatever. Pedro is eternal. I'm, I'm just imagining this guy in, like, a really stereotypical Spanish outfit. Like, he's almost like... Like, he's a matador or something. Just, like, in the middle of Cong of the Congo. Like, what? What? <laughs> the, the... The... I think is the term... Like, Mwene Congo is the name of the ruler. It's like, they get, they get a... 
a, a prince or something from Luango coming over here, and it's like, we're sh throwing a great feast for our guest, our brother from Luango, and going through all of the people. It's like, here are our diplomats, the, the ingenious Ilunga Yola, the magnanimous, uh, Mukaz Tayat, and the ever faithful Pedro. Voila. <laughs> Pedro is my hero. I'm a, I'm, I might need to name all of my kings. Pedro. Are we are we going full on Pedro here? Pedro will rule this land. With a soft and loving touch. Uh, screenshot it? Sure. Uh, F12? There we are. Good old Pedro. Okay, unpause. Speed 5. We are waiting for, like, points, I guess? I want to develop... At least five of development at least ten that are not my capital. So, what are my... Let's just take a look real quick. Okay, so we got a seven, we got an eleven. We could probably just force this one through. Right, we've got an eight and eleven. Some of the cultural names. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it would make sense if we converted Catholicism after meeting the Spanish or Portuguese. That would make perfect sense. But in 1449, there ain't no Pedros in, in Central Africa. Alright, so we got a 7, an 8. Do we want to develop, like, right now, you think? Do we want to just try and force this one through? Because, like, getting colonies... It would be expensive, but eventually useful. Ooh. That's good. But I mean, it's like the most land I grab up before the Europeans do, the better. We will not let the Europeans steal Pedro from us. That's what they're here for. They want to take my beloved Pedro. I mean, we're doing pretty alright on cash, just kind of hanging out. Oof, that's unfortunate. Uh, the Diviners in Mabanza Congo have... are having visions of impeding, impending destruction. They assure us that Quezi spirits of old Kitara will do what they can to protect us. We can be sure the dire times are ahead. Hmm. Uh, probably just the lack of knowledge of anything beyond, like, the, there's probably even, like, little more than myth about people just on the other side of Africa. Let alone anyone up here, the fact that stuff down here exists. I don't think there was much trade between areas in Central Africa. Like, I don't know how connected Central Africa was to, like, West and Eastern Africa at this point. Yeah, yeah, I could just go exploration and start exploring. The difficulty is getting the tech, first of all, because we're, we're not even feudal.
Wow, medieval. Oh, interesting. These texts cost at least this one. Costs more if you haven't embraced an institution. I like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's start developing. Do I want to lose stab? How bad is my stab stuff? You know, I think I could probably... I just burn the stab or... Losing the prestige right now is not good. Let's just dark words. Who cares? We can deal with any problems here. Alright. Uh, what am I doing? Ooh, integrating these guys would actually be... Okay, four years. And then it would be only this one. That one. Uh, nine. Eight. We already got that, so that's three. Four. Yeah, it would be... Most convenient to... Oh, it'd still take a while to do the integration. Settlers. I mean, I'm not in... I'm not in a massive rush to colonize, but it would be very good to get it as soon as possible. As absolutely soon as possible. These Demani power. Cool. Number of subjects at least seven? Interesting. Hmm. Reduce the local autonomy of all owned provinces in the Congo and Central Africa region to their minimum. Cool. gonna be a while before we can get that though i'm gonna need to do a lot of conquering all right so uh what is the plan here really kind of want to do this but can we even afford the colonists it'll cost me like four to have one colony going like four a month i don't think it's worth doing right now even if i were to upgrade all my stuff i want to have at minimum like six per month I think I want to work on army tradition. I think I want to work on like moving north. So these guys actually, if I were to attack you, we barely out, it's pretty equal. What do you desire? What is your desire? Okay. Hmm. How's my aggressive expansion? How we f I mean, it doesn't look like there was much, if any, at all. We want to at least deal with these guys. And we're rooting out corruption, which will be done very shortly. Go get him, Pedro.
All right, we want to develop or text somebody. How about you? You are... Hmm. Ooh, and we can co-belligerent... We grab up all that. That'd be huge. All right, we want to get to our force limit right now. It's just a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're like, cycling through these guys and how upset they are at me. Our burning man power. All right, let's try and instigate them a little bit more. Make that go a little bit faster. It's like seven dudes is nothing. Hmm. Read the new Vic 3. Oh, I have not read any Vic 3 devlogs, actually. Oh, how is combat going to be different? That's very interesting to me because I feel like it should be like it should start like combat in EU4, but by the time you get to the like end game, it should be combat like Hoi 4. That's that's my thought. <laughs> Ooh, traveling minstrel. Yeah, let's. Also, I forgot to look at this. Let's, we'll be fine there. I'm going to buy up stab. Screw it. Let's do it again. You know, Parallax games, you can move your troops around, you build stacks and stuff. Yep. Are they not doing that? Ooh. I... Ooh. That's getting spicy. You know what? I think that's good. I'm glad they're doing that. Don't want a fort. I don't think I'll need it. I think, like, I think them trying to reinvent that is a good thing. Because, like, you know how by the time. You know, by the time things show up in. By the time. Like, how, how the military works in Hoi 4 is good. Like, could you imagine playing Hoi 4 like you play EU 4? I could not. Let's actually just leave dudes here. Oh, perfect timing. Very magnifique. Ma. Chef's kiss. Yeah, it's not gonna be like Hoi 4, which I think is fine. Like, I appreciate them trying to do something different. I like that.
can't control the tactics of your general. Hmm. That is interesting. I kind of... Ooh. Bongo and Songo. Where is this? Uh, Pangu. Right, up here. Alright. Alright, give you one more tick. Like, by the time you would get to 1930. And doing war like you four would not work at all. Oh, that's interesting. Enemy siege in progress. If they're changing combat up, I... I'm optimistic about that. Alright, I think I'm gonna do one war to eat as... all of Kuba and as much of these guys as possible, and then I'm gonna start integrating them. I'll try and keep an open mind about it. I'm sure they've been thinking about this a lot. Like, besides the economics, trying to figure out how they want to do military is probably what has been taking them so long to do this. Like, they've released... Like... Two Crusader Kings games in the amount of time they have done this one Victoria. Like, they came out with Crusader Kings... Two and three before, like, after Vic 2, I think. Hmm. I want to do this? No, I don't think I do. This is a big advantage, though. The feudalism is going to be relatively easy to come by. Keep an open mind about these things. See how it looks. See how how. See see about it first. It could be pretty it could be pretty interesting. Ooh. I definitely want those gems. Alright, so one, that's already ten. Two. Three. Four. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna spend that much on it. Because that's all that I can do. And now we can move our dudes onto there, so that's nice. Actually, not quite onto there. Here. Close to it, but, um... Although, it might have been a good idea to take this just so that I could have... Uh, so I could drill. I'm gonna win the Franco-Prussian Wars, France, or beat America as Mexico. Yeah, I mean, we will see. Like, I'm sure it's... 
it's going to be about choosing generals. It's probably going to be about making broader change, like broader choices than moving around military stuff and moving around individual units. There will absolutely be ways to do it. This is very... Oh, Kongli's Coast. Wait, I have a royal marriage with these guys? Pardon me? I'm gonna get a royal marriage with them. That does not mean they get a royal marriage with them. I don't think I'll... I'll burn this stab. Family ties, diplo power, very cool. Or I could wait for my guy to die. 55. I'll lose stab either way, but then I won't be losing two stab if I wait for him to die. I think the the aim they're going to be going for mil ter militarily is that it's not going to be a war game as much as OI4 or EU4. It is going to be a political game with war as... An arm of politics. I'm absolutely not going to do that. I'm going to develop in my capital a little. Bigger army. Got it up to 10. Very good. Oh, perfect timing. Let's do the discipline. Let's go and get a general. Yeah, he plays games like blobs. So that is true. Like, if it, if you can't blob in Vic 2 like you can in any other game, you are lucky if you... Like, if you could look like Germany in 1942, like during World War II, before things start going bad in Russia and before D-Day, which D-Day was like 40, 44? 43. I'm bad. At, I'm bad with the dates. Um, then you deserve to be as hated as them because you are a wretched war criminal with how much you are just killing everyone wantonly. Like, everyone is as pissed at you for expanding that much as Germany, like, IRL. That's how you can get the, like, the capitalists and the communists to side together against you. Yeah, I mean, I can understand if you don't like the direction that it will be going. So, I, I get you if you would not want it. If you will not like it, if it is far more political and economic. So yeah, just keep an eye out, keep, but also keep an open mind. Alright, well I think I will get my army going. 
I think I'll wait for the tech. It's actually coming down a little bit. Can I start integrating you? I think I will. How long will this take? Only two years. Wow. Okay, hold on. I think I'll wait until the end of the war to do it. Nope. Got a government reform. Alright, so this tribal despotism, a political... Uh, this is just what we already have. A uh, political system where a tribe is controlled by any individual ruler with unlimited power and the ability to exercise any action without consequence or retribution. Excuse me. Often ruling through fear. Or creation cost reduction. That's good. Tribal monarchy is what we got. Income from vassals. That's all right. The political system where a large tribal society has formed a kingdom with one strong ruler who rules through law. Stateless society. Wow. Cool, we could actually be like those little guys in Vietnam. Our people have consciously chosen not to organize into a state, preferring simple lives, free from the oppressive hierarchies prevalent in the lowland realm. Or sacred kingdom. An absolute monarchy where the ruler is not only the head of the state, but also the head of the religion and is deified as one of the people's god. One of its people's god? Gods! Plural. One of God? Hmm. Alright, but we could... Uh, also, feudal tribe. A tribal system, which is very similar to classical feudal monarchy. Instead of being owned by the... Instead, being owned by the monarch or their nobility. The subjects are paying tribute to the ruler of the state. Now, all European powers did all the colonialism and land grabbing so they can always one-up their neighbors. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a very interesting situation, the balance of power in the period of Vic 2, or just Vic 3 now. Um, like, it's very, it's very strange. And it just culminates with World War One, and then in World War Two, As a blowback from it. Trouble Confederacy. Government form where several chieftains and lower kings bend to rule of a central authority but keep a certain degree of internal autonomy. Alright, I could choose martial society or civil society. Hmm. Alright, martial values have always been important to our in our society. And as we expand a militarized society, it is what we must continue to build and preserve as at the core of the state or civil society. No state can exist with only warriors. We must build up stronger ties with civil society and the urbanites in our realm so that we can better extract revenue from there from them. I'm leaning towards this. I'm leaning towards civil society. And power I don't think is gonna be huge. Like, the numbers are not going to be an issue. It's going to be the quality against the Europeans. And, at the moment, force limit. Let's do civil society. I wonder what happens when we convert or whatever. Foreign conquest is still a very important thing in this time, because European... Uh, Europea, Europe conquered the whole world because the Europeans are in constant competition. I don't think there's a proper solar... Um, Ekapro, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Oh, whoops. I mean, uh, the opposite of that. Whatever the opposite of that is. Eh. I right-clicked and I can't make the right-click thing go away. Uh, go away forever. Yes.
Without a good military. Yeah. It's like, the thing is that in Europe, during this period, the borders do not change nearly as much as you would be able to make them change in, uh, in EU4. Like, if you look at, um, uh, Germany aside, Germany is a special case, though. Like, the borders of European Britain, I'm pretty sure, are the same from... Not 18... When does the game start? Like, 20... 1840-something to... 1936? Uh, like, France and Germany... Like, France loses and then regains uh, Alsace-Lorraine. That's it. Germany unifies, but then also collapses. Even Austria-Hungary, I think they may gain... No, like, Austria-Hungary loses... I mean, they, they fall apart by the end of it. Like, there is nothing... At this point in history, if France just ate the Low Countries, let alone something like Germany or Spain, there'd be hell to pay. Uh, the Napoleonic Wars ended expansion like that. Because everyone unified against them. Make sure that never happened again. Alright, but I mean, why just declare war? Call you in, just to be safe. I will give you land from those guys. Yeah, I might as well co-belligerent them here. Actually, let's defeat them one at a time. This, these guys will be the easiest. In fact... Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go after... Alright, well, thanks, Anna, man. It was good hearing from you again. You know where to find me if you ever want to talk, basically, any other day of the week. And I'll try to stream at least once a week on here. Starting, not next week, but probably the week after. I will try. Actually, maybe next week. Whenever the Hoi 4 DLC comes out. I forget when that is. Alright, I think what I want to do... That I will attack them... Call you in for support. Go belligerent Cuba. Might as well. I think we'll be fine. Make it over this one. And... War were declared. Well, that's unfortunate. You know, what I'm gonna do... Can I raise war taxes? I can. going.
Yeah, you stay there. We can just take out both of these guys. We'll do it all right. Getting real aggressive here. Also, screw it. Let's go big. We just got a big tech advantage. So we may still lose this. Yeah, we do. That's fine. We made them lose that. We got plenty of manpower. We just piece these guys, these guys out one at a time. Hey, Luba. I don't even care. Get them out of here. That was a significant amount of dudes. Alright, beautiful. This guy is, uh, Halundwe. Goals your capital. Transfer trade, all your cash. Break it. Mm, sure. This will be fine. Alright, so now it's... That guy who I will give some territory to Lunda. And then we also have to deal with them. Forgot about that.
This is a new song too. Alright, we still got a lot of time before we are capped on that. Oops. I forgot to give them territory. Oh, you know what, Linda? Sorry. <laughs> hmm. No, they're already at super high autonomy anyway. Only 15 there as well. That's not too bad. Ah, uh, free stab. Which I will buy up first. Sure. Plenty of Diplo to put around at the moment. You know, they may be upset, or they may not be. Totally cool. You know, Kuba. Or... This costs me zero Diplo. Or... 32 Diplo. Is 32 Diplo worth 35 ducats? Probably not. But I've also, I'm also replete with Diplo power. This is fine. I eat you all. Um, hmm. These are both very good. I'm gonna wait on these until I want to attack. All right, all right. Where's my development map mode? Right here. All right, I'm looking for... All right, now... You are May 1461, April 1461. Great Lakes Free Warriors. Cool. All right. June, May.
All right, if I do this, I may be able to do this real fancy. Wait, one month. And I can get them at the exact same time. Oh, we could... Hopefully, we'll be able to maneuver it that way. Like, the army tradition... Prof the army tradition decays, so I will wait until... I want to get a general. Although... If I just roll a general now... What is my... Hmm. I'd be just under. Ah, do I want to get it? I don't know. June. June. Oh. Am I going to be a super hardcore sweaty gamer? Get these guys done at the exact same time? Speed up. Oh wow, these guys actually got the level 3 tech. Right, because I did. Cores, cores, cores. I got a blue dot on Luba. Yep, that's that's the that's a lake. Who's stab? Who's money? Sure. Doing all right. We are doing all right. All right, a couple months. Hopefully, they should be integrated all at the same time. Hmm. Oh, très magnifique. Both of them at the same time. Look at that. Might as well do this then. Loango and the Dongo's fate. The history of the realms and the Dongo and Loango is obscure, and and just like our own history based on legends. Despite that, 
These two states are vassal states of Congo, at least in name, that is. Both kingdoms are no longer fit to be ruled by their own rulers and should be integrated into our own kingdom, tribal king, our own tribal kingdom instead. I could just embrace... Wow, I didn't think that it'd just be good enough already. Yeah, let's do it. Oops, I should have... Alright, yeah, let's definitely grab that. I don't know if I lost any from doing that, but uh, I think because I unpaused, I'm, I am I did not unpause, I'm fine. Also... Alright, let's make our... Alright, you are the... First army. You are the... Second army. And now, to do this, we are very close. But we also need you to be at 30. You're 10... To... I'm over the force limit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to delete some of these. Yeah, we just gotta just gotta delete them. <laughs> Stand down, man. Stand down. Okay, I want to look at development. Alright, cost. Absolutely here. Now I need to upgrade you. How am I doing on tech? I'm a little behind on this. Oof. Hold on. Yeah, my economy is not the best. Also, you. Going up with you. Although... That's probably why. You don't need to be drilling. Go get him, Pedro! some royal marriages here. The 
This is gonna be a while before we can do this. Wait, why do I... Hold on. Oh. One, two, three, four... Colonist. Yeah, my economy's doing pretty all right with my maintenance down. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. You are not, uh, mm. I should have developed you. Go ahead and make you a state. Need it. East tensions. Do I need to do anything else before I just keep conquering? I feel like I like once these rebels are dealt with, I think is the thing. Yes, get angry. I care not for your autonomy.
Your ally just freaking everybody. I won't co-belligerent you then. Is there... Well, other than revolts, is there any reason to not be fighting right now? Not really. Get you. Go do this. You can go here. Drive forward. Two, uh, have here. Let's not. Get two infantry. Oh, that's right, the truce. I forgot about that stuff. How long is our truce? Quite a ways, actually. Don't have a truce with you, though, but you are also allied with everyone. I'd rather deal with that later. Her <laughs> income is still solid. I'm pretty happy with that. No, I really could just get rid of these boats. I don't think I need them. Like, ever. Not for a long time. And this is probably... Not doing us much good. Eh, you know, whatever. It's only 0.93. Not even a whole ducat. Oh, I mean, that does add up a lot in the early game, though. Mission complete. No reason not to do this. Uh, yeah, let's go and do it. Go a little crazy. Our tribal kingdom is on the verge of uh, verge to reach great greatness. Like it's 1465. I think the Europeans may start popping up anytime now. I have not been paying attention, but I also I have not seen any boats, but I also have not been paying attention. Okay, this colonist is available as long as you do not unlock any other colonist idea. Ooh. Alright. So we're gonna need to wait on expansion or exploration for a hundred years. Wow. That's okay. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, the sooner we get it, the better, I guess. Our tribal kingdom is on the verge to reach greatness. That's a little... On the verge of greatness. Hmm. It's like on the verge... This sentence makes it sound like we're on the verge of being on the verge of greatness. However, for achieving this, we need more people and the infrastructure to support them. We should develop the Banza Congo and the surrounding area. Hmm. Do I do native? I kind of want to do native repression. I've only got one dude. They're not really aggressive either.
I think I want to do repression. As I'm only going to get one dude at this point. And eventually, like, before too long, there's not going to be too many guys to be fighting over here. So I can really focus on my colonists. So let's do it. I don't normally do this, but uh, we're doing it. All right, we're it's like half our economy, but whatever. We're gonna do this at least until we have the truce wrapped up. Ooh. That's solid air, kind of like the polar opposite of what we've got. Oof, I'm tempted to name him Pedro. Do I name him Pedro? That's a good queen too. Um. I kind of like to go with these. Let's let's do the RP and don't name anybody Pedro until we become Christian. Uh, and we want, yeah, colonize those. That's good stuff right there. So we're just eyeing this truce. It's four years. That's not too bad. How long? <laughs> I mean, they're already Congolese. So it's like, we're not even changing their culture. <laughs> also, we could probably turn this off. Okay, we don't need any edicts. I can vassalize them. That'd be pretty nice. Probably feed them a lot of this. Or do we just expand? <laughs> just eat. Devour. Get one more dude in here. We've got a... I don't know if I want an alliance. Get them real riled up. And how are we looking on like accepted cultures? I mean, these will all be accepted eventually. Beautiful. Can I just stomp you out? Not quite.
There we go. Knew that was gonna be happening. Yeah, let's go and do this. Prestige possible advisors. Loyalty and influence. Hmm. I don't think I want them to lose loyalty. Sure, let's just do this. So now, can't even afford to upgrade this. Rondo's got slaves. We should probably fix that. I think we can maybe do something a little bit better than that, you know? We really have to be making all these folks slaves. High prestige. Or half price level 2. Sure, let's try that. Grab that. I support rebels. Nice. Hmm, I don't think that, I still don't think that would pay for itself. Hmm. I just really want to be able to get this upgraded. I've got the money for it. Also, truces. Up pretty soon. They're almost halfway there. How strong are you? How many dudes? Great relations. Honestly, like, even with their allies, I could probably stomp them. On my own. Even without these guys, I could probably bring a couple off as well, like, leave it at four. Uh, relations. Send an insult. Probably also call these guys in and maybe even give them that land this time. Yeah, the natives. If I have at least one more of those at all times, 
It'll be all right. It'll be good. Go and get one more dude here. Should I make forts? Hmm. Like, forts around here are gonna be obsolete very quickly. I spend, it'd be like, how much? 200 for a fort. Oh, you're allied to Chalkway? Or, or no, hold on, you're allied to... No, okay, that's fine. Another half price level two guy. I think I'm gonna wait for this one to be finished. Terra Incognito, that's unfortunate. I really wish that uh, I knew what those were. I would love to colonize those, so the Europeans don't. The top is doing alright. Drill until this is done. I really do like that they did this. It'll stop, like, really illogical things from happening. Maybe. I think having stuff based on the institutions is a good idea. Alright, this won't take too much longer.
Very cool. Very cool. Oh, that's nice. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. It was only five difference. Maybe I should have just gone with the one where I don't have to pay for anything. We're growing quite quickly as is. All right, there we go. So now... All right, so how do we want to do this? So we got those guys that'll come in for us whichever way we're probably not attacking. So I should probably just... Take, finish this one off. I'll move you up there. Kind of just make sure that nobody starts attacking into my territory. Let's finish you off and just gobble you up. Alright, we'll give it one more month and then we'll do it. Any reason not to? I don't think so. It claims on basically the rest of Central Africa. Our home region is not only a place for the Congolese, but other tribes as well. Although we share certain similarities and live very close, our cultures still differ quite substantially. Two of these cultures are even seen as a threat to our borders, which are the raiding Yaka and the militarized Bangala. We should subjugate them quickly before they get any chance to become a serious problem. So we got uh, military tradition and RB professionalism and claims on Kasi and Chokwe from all that. Then... Kuban Conquest. According to the founding legends of Kuba, this jungle kingdom is ancient, at least 900 years old even. Their legends are, however, a little important, of little importance to us. What is more important is the art the Kuban are capable of creating. Their masks, their broadswords, the Ilwun sword are both testi testimonies of their skills, skill of art and warfare. We should integrate the Kuban into our realm and make us of both, make use yeah, of both their iconic items. So we're gonna fight better, 25 years, make very good use of that. Great relations, we do not have great relations. Can I even rival anyone? No. Alright, they were insulted already. Uh, build spy network? I don't know. Um... Issue embargo?
All right, well, I could just do that. Try multiple times. Or not. I can only do once, apparently. I can just threaten war. Alright, well, that did it. I did not lose stab either. I was, uh. Alright, cool. Unfortunate. Hmm. Once again, eight is eighteen worth. Twenty-five? No, it's not. Ooh, and I can get a reform. Now this is a question. Lip service, land ma maintenance modifier, or stab cost on those unit. No, that's not really that useful to me right now. While clan loyalties can take us far... Far our expansion? What? Well, clan loyalties can take us far, comma. Our expansion has made us the masters of more peoples than we once did. A stronger, strongly religious society can withstand expansion in both time and space more efficiently and will give us the cohesion we need. Or, lip service. While it is important to observe religious practices to maintain our legitimacy, we should not get bogged down in the principles of righteous rule and morality. Pragmatism will take us longer and allow us to support a larger state and army. Yeah, let's do that one. Damn. 
Alright, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. go. These outbreak, man. Oh, why don't I have my... Hold on. Yeah, I really should let my siege guy on this. Loot. want to vassalize them? I would definitely make my expansion a bit faster. No reason not to. Alright, that's like 33 aggressive expansion. That's 23. It'll get me up to like 50-something. Not a big deal. Like, who's gonna get pissed at me? Like, these guys? Oh no. I don't even border anyone else. I don't think anyone's getting a coalition if I don't. If I'm this far away from everybody. Hmm. It's basically conquering them, and it'll take a bit longer to make them... It's only three provinces as well. Like, it won't take long to integrate them. I don't think. The other ones weren't very... Fa uh, weren't very... Did not take very long. Or I'd take them money... I'm really doing all right with money. So either I loot their capital. Hmm. That's a good bit of money, though. And this will save me... I'm liking the money, but I really don't need it. How good is their territory? We got a seven, an eight, and an eight. It's it's either do I spend Diplo later? Either I spend admin later or Diplo much later.
feel like they might cause me more problems if they're my vassal. Hmm. What do you, anyone have any thoughts? Vassalize or just loot? Take all their money. And getting that development in my capital is nice. That's basically saving me... Vassal? How you doing, Cogs? Yeah, let's go ahead and vassalize him. We really don't need money. Like, there's nothing... Well, I mean, hold on. Let's think. We've got a couple buildings. Yeah, I'm doing well. You say vassal as well? Yeah. Like, for my position, I have a massive amount of money. And very little to spend it on. Like, I could do this stuff. Let's do that. Otherwise, like, the rest of it's not really super worth it. And even then, we still got a lot of money and really nothing practical to spend it on right now. And eventually we're just gonna, like, sit and milk all the cash that we can. The only problem that we're gonna run into is eventually fighting the Europeans. Maybe Mutapa. And, I mean, we can also just milk cash out of them as a vassal, too. We have more dudes than Mutapa anyway. But Mutapa... Allied to Makua... There's another 4k. We're fine. Yeah, I can, exactly. Vassalize and take money. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. Kazembe. Make them a vassal. I won't take their money because they will need it. Well... Do they really need their money? Uh, they need their money to give me money. So no, we won't take their money. And your rivalry for five free prestige. That's nice. Yeah, let's do that. And we take the rest of this. 25 prestige. Oh no. One dude will st quote unquote start a coalition. All right, let's start improving relations with you as soon as we can. Self-rule and Luba. Songwei and Kulundwei. Okay. Stab is nice, though. That'll get us up to three stab. Oh, what's the other thing that I would need? Um, right now, what what is it? Um, oh, there's a th mission. Where's that mission that's going to lower all of my autonomy? Where is... Hold on, I was looking at this mission. That's... When was it?
Uh, whatever. I'll just get the autonomy. All right. Actually, no, hold on. I want you to be... Drilling. How long... Do I have a truce with you? I don't. Huh. I think I'll take out you next. Do I really not get a... Shaba region? Hmm. Ah! Uh, you know what? Once my cores are done, let's just attack these guys. Let's we'll gobble up all these dudes. Along the cores. Be able to get temples soon, too. As in... Right now. Well, I want to get this ahead of time. How close am I? Ooh. I mean, hmm. How's my income? Solid. I want to get a level 1 dude. X. Yeah. Do that. really just offsets the difference of how much he costs. In 0.5 a month. That won't pay as much as how much war reps and actually taking his cash would have, but that's fine. Two more dudes. 
Let's get... Let's get two Kev in here. We're going crazy. Waves, uh, amounts of the tax. Rival feud, unfortunate. During the height of the summer festi festivities in our capital, members of two feuding tribes have decided to have a public showdown and fight it out in front of the entire political and religious leadership of our state. The ensuing violence was so fierce that not only the feuding tribesmen lost their lives, but also countless bystanders and even members of the Mwene Congo's guard. Vile rabble, how dare they! Bunch of spazzy buttholes is what they are. Spazzy buttholes! Uh, hmm. Let's lose the admin. Uh, that's actually pretty... Un uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I really would like to get this idea. My Diplo's so high right now. Yeah, that modifier fell off. Oh, let's see. Going to development? Nice. I should also improve relations with you. Get a royal marriage. It only takes seven years to annex you. Alright, the cores are done. Got some problems over here, though. Ooh. Um, ooh, hold on now. Higher development and colonies. Yeah, I like that. I think that's probably going to be the most useful thing here. The combat bonus is nice, but, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Look at look at uh, Lunda right there. Let's actually, deal with these guys first. Into the unknown. The uncharted territory within and beyond the jungles at our border uh, may seem threatening to many other people, but our tribe has lived in lands like these for a long time and would never have thrived if we feared exploring the unknown. Now a large group of young hunters are asking for Moene Congo's permission to explore and settle in whatever place they may discover. Certainly, these are capable people who could get a lot done if they didn't waste time on dreams of places not yet known. But who are we to put a stop to youthful curiosity? Interesting.
Uh, I mean, sure. Might as well. And we'll send our guy. It'll grow quite quickly. Oh, good timing. Or maybe that's just because we stepped in there. Livestock? Alright. Bunch hunters are now wrangling cattle. Living the cowboy dream. Vassalize these guys. I just want these rebels to be done with. Uh, another free stab. Or some money. Sure, let's get the stab. A little unfortunate. No, hold on. Let's give them a little something, something. Crown land. Huh. Ooh. Do that one. And free enterprise. Absolutism doesn't do us any good right now. Did I say... Oh, yeah, absolutism doesn't do us any good. Kind of want to just... Have these guys dealt with. Provoke them. Yeah, 11 regiments, that's no problem. Burn a little manpower. I just want to get to this fight sooner. Because I can do it on my own. Or with these guys. Get one more guy as well if I want to. Nah. No European colonization yet. Hmm. I 
Now the Renaissance has shown up. Oh, I think they actually... Oh. I think I see. They got rid of the the penalty for the institution, and they made it so they these just cost more to get if you have not embraced it, which I I think that's better. I just realized exactly what they did. I thought they added this on top of the other thing, but no. I think this is definitely this is less obtrusive, but I don't know if it's more. Like, I always felt like it's kind of too easy for them to take tech for, like, the AI at non-European, like, really distant places. Like, I feel like this is just making it a lot easier for folks in Africa or, like, Native Americans to get it. But maybe it's not. I don't know. I mean, it feels a lot easier right now. It just looks like I have a million points. Let's go ahead and get these, because... Oh, maybe it inc and it increases over time, maybe. Or decreases. I don't know. I've got so many points. Either I develop or I take it. Or trade. How much am I actually getting from trade? A decent bit. More than production. Which, eh, I mean, no. I don't know if that's much to talk about. Okay, let's see. How about... I would like to take this. Get really far ahead of time. Uh, yeah, now it's plus 30 there. So it's, it's at first, slow. Like, it's not too big of a gap. Like, you can go one tech ahead. But then once you start getting really big, this is like, this is 30 now. So it's probably a going to double each time that you haven't embraced it. So, I think that's good. I, I think I like it. Uh, well, I'll embrace this, though. Definitely get our West Africans here. Uh, uh, just... Let's... I don't know if it's actually more... I've been told that defensive pips are far better than offensive because you outlast your enemy better. And then in doing that, you ultimately kill more of their guys because they're more tired and you are more energized because you have more stronger dudes. I don't know. Let's just do this because it's... Uh... Mm. No. Let's do... Uh, this is kind of... Hmm. Whatever. Let's go for cannon. Oh, nice. Either I take it or I develop, maybe? Do I want to do any development? Any place that would be really useful? Do a couple bits right there. Give you one. Two. Or three. Sure. I'll give them a little bit for them to hopefully spawn on their own. And if they don't, I'll just instigate them. 
really just how many dudes do I want to burn doing this? Ooh! Ever since his childhood, Zynga Akua has been fascinated by the tales of faraway places. And as Muene Congo, he has been actively promoting voyages of discovery and colonization as our colonial administrators now demand that we give them more support to fulfill our overseas ambitions. His has been to raise the needed resources on his own. His demand? I think that's what it's saying. Without burdening his coffer of the state. I don't... A conquistador is not going to do us much good. So let us map the seas. Gain an explorer. Nice. Uh, a really creative name for that one. Oh, that was was that incredibly lucky to do that? But I I'm really I want to grab these. Yeah. Like, I wonder if that- how likely that is to happen. Easy peasy. Yeah, I just wonder if you got incredibly lucky there. <laughs> You just mothball. <laughs> oh no! Alright, we'll get all our dudes back. On the rush to deal with them. Ooh, hello. It would seem that our harsh treatment of the Bemba people living in Kaunde has paid off in a massive way. Forcing those primitives off their rich, fertile soil has created new opportunities for our settlers to take their place, and our colonial companies have already begun exploiting the ancestral land of the Bemba. But they request financial aid to complete the uh, construction of the new settlement. So basically, finish it right now. Sure. Alright, so once we get into position... Let's 
strike there. We'll go and declare war. All right. Make it over Luba. Can't co belligerent them because we're allied, but uh, this would be an easy way to deal with it. So I won't have to wait on anything. So, war were declared. Well, let's just sit on that. Beautiful. You only take three. <laughs> Yo, why is it chosen? What's up, man? Pongo, strongo indeed. And they're having a rough time. There we go, finally. Alright, so... Once again is... 48... Worth... No, it's not worth a 54. Oh wow, I can't actually take that last bit. Uh, so it may be worth doing that then. Costs a bit more, but I mean, finishing them all off at once sounds like a good di good idea to me. Uh, 
Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I want to... Ooh, hold on. I want to join a frontier in Zambia area. Where is that? I already fixed the AE bug with PUs. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Whatever bug that was. Uh, do I want to do this mission? Let's see. Alright, so, I mean, do I want government reform? How long until I... Hmm. You get a lot of AE for PUs, even PUs from missions. I don't know. I haven't done anything with PUs yet. It was a big problem, they probably fixed it. Oh, it's coming tomorrow. All right. Oh, is that a thing they just made happen unintentionally? Um. All right. So, like, I don't. I just need to contact the Europeans. Which. I how long until we're going to contact Europeans? Like, 1486? What are we looking at here? I think I want to sit on this mission until I become a monarchy. For the government reform. And I won't... Uh, I'll focus on colonizing other places as well. Because I'm not going to be getting this one for a bit. This. Yeah, this one I think would be better. To do, like, right away. Man, we are expanding so well. I love it. All right. All we gotta do is take this little guy right here. And then we will have... Perfectly... Dealt with all of it. Alright, so our next... This one... In Lega... We will be getting... Yeah, this one sounds good. Alright, Lubin Iron. In order to maintain power, our tribal kingdom needs strategic resources like copper and iron. While copper is not a big issue, the iron of Mpemba is not enough to sustain our economy and army. Fortunately, the Lubin is in the east have rich iron sources. It would be useful to us if we liberate their iron. So, free money. Colonist in Lega, that's right there. And, yeah, Shaba. Sure. And, uh, should I just kill this guy? I don't know reason not to. But it'll even get me over, it probably won't even get me over 50 over extension. Let's do it. Let's gobble him. Don't need the co belligerent you. Just, uh. Yeah. War were declared. The oneness of. Oh! Interesting. The oneness of God. We have met people who devote their lives to worship the one true God they call Allah. They live by the decree given to them by their prophets, the greatest of which went by the name Muhammad. We have been told that they that to be a true servant of God, one must adhere to the five pillars, faith, prayer, charity, fasting, and pilgrimage to Mecca. They have shared with us a scripture, the Quran, 
which apparently holds the final unaltered revelation of God. We have to, uh, we will have a closer look at this. Uh, all right. And this is, uh, hold on. We're, we're just, our power, we're just skyrocketing. There's no stopping us. Like, geez. Um, how about... Okay, and look at... Let's look at states. Sure, let's make you a state. That's it. Alright. Uh, hmm. Oh, I, I forgot. Let's lower war taxes. I always forget to turn that off. When do I become... When can I become an empire? Uh... Gonna be a while. Slaves and Lega. Well, slaves are not the best resource. Uh, okay, and when can we... Uh, still got... Next year, we can start integrating you. There's one in the morning. I need to be going to bed pretty soon. I have to wake up like around 10-ish. Also this. You have come across a tribe who fervently worships a deity whom they call Enkai, the man in the sky. They see into place a tremendous importance on cattle, and every man counts his wealth in cows, bulls, and calves. One cowherd we met told us about the legend of Enkai and the gift he sent to their people. The story goes that Enkai was once a human and that his herd contained all the cattle in the world. When the sky was torn from the earth, he sent his herd back down to the people along a bark rope. A tribe of jealous hunters who coveted the meat cut the rope and now the cattle is the only remaining link to Enkai. These people claim to be Enkai's chosen ones, and thus all the cattle in disguise belong to them. We will seek out more knowledge of Enkai and his blessings. Interesting. There is a Siberian frontier here, so no colonists can be sent. Interesting. Because the other one was by event... I guess that's why that happened, but because this is by a mission, I can't actually send my guy. Interesting. Oh, I could do this. No religion is as diverse and complex than the religions and cults of Africa. All the tribes, all the kingdoms... Have di all the tribes... All the kingdoms. It's supposed to be like punctuation. Emphasis on the kingdoms here. Like, nay, all the kingdoms. Have different views of the cosmology of our world. Yet these beliefs are rarely even ever reason to fight each other. Instead, we seek out the other tribes to learn more about their beliefs and even expand our own based on it. Sure. Uh, hmm. I think I might want. Do I want the institution spread? I'm really gonna need most of these. Let's go and do the institution spread. All oh, the cult of Islam. Don't tell any Muslims that we're ruining their religion because that's exactly what we're doing right here. Ooh, 
Ooh. Absolutely do that. Might as well just send my guy over here now. That's a lot of development. And there we go. War over. Actually. Can I even get up there? I can. I want to loot their capital. Okay, uh, let's see. Develop. Someplace useful. Cattle? No. Hmm. Yeah, cloth? That sounds good. It's only 70. Uh, sick. Go. Ooh, do I want to vassalize you? Do I want to do that? I feed them? Am I going to get claims on anything around there? Modernize Congo, banish Europeans. I don't think I'm going to get claims... Uh, South African continent. Some reform. Ooh, wow. Provinces with cultures in Southeast and Great Lakes do not suffer unaccepted penalties. That's really good. Wow. Alright, so what do you guys think? Should I vassalize the core? They're in a good position to, like, gobble up all this. At the moment, I'm also getting more income from them. From, like, vassals. Like, either I 
It's kind of the same situation as Kazembe. Either I take all their money, or, or I make them a vassal. What does the aggressive expansion look like? That's actually maybe a better idea. It's not bad at all. Uh, hold on. This is... Okay, let's see. Uba, that's part of state. Hmm. If I just eat it myself? What's their alliances? Now they got a big alliance web, probably. Oh, and when I when I said it's like don't tell any Muslims we're ruining their religion, like don't say it, tell them that we're they just basically a Muslim would not like what we're doing with their religion. Understandably, I wouldn't like them making a cult out of my religion either. Hmm. I conquer myself. Like, how powerful are these guys? Like, how strong is, like, Rwanda? If I were to declare war on you. I don't number them all very easily. I think I could eat them faster. Like, you are allied to... I could basically eat all of these guys at once. In one war. That'd be probably a lot easier. Than doing the vassalization. They've only got like two provinces between them, only one of you, two there, three there. And as long as I wait a little bit, I'm not in the rush to grab all this stuff. I think I would rather. Pillage. And you, each, uh, take all your cash. Nice. Hmm. If I get fleet basing rights, could I explore further west? Let's improve relations with these guys and we'll see. Let's start annexing these guys as well. Sure. Why not? Treasure has died. Income is quite good. And power land maintenance. Yes. Basically just more money. Or rather... More military power for less cost, I guess. And we'll also start colonizing you.
Also, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think you can force institutions anymore. So I think that actually makes a lot more sense. That you actually need to get the center of where it forms. Get it to be near you, or else you don't, you're not getting it as much. So maybe they'll make it... I don't know if that's, they're still going to make it possible to get some of the institutions, like, anywhere in the world. Like, get manufactories in China or something. Oh, there goes my explorer. Well, you know what? He was useful. I'll now be able to colonize these things. I could also send my guy down there, I think. No, I can't reach. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab this ahead of time. Now. What do we want to get here? Like, I've got a lot of Diplo. My heir is gonna have a lot of admin. I'm probably gonna die before too long. I feel like I want to go, like, aristocratic, maybe? I feel like religious, aristocratic... Hopefully I won't need to do exploration... ...or expansion. Until I... Yeah, hopefully I won't need to. I lose this if I get another... Either I start the slots or I get another colonist. So I may be able to get the explorer thing, but maybe also maybe not. I'm tempted to go trade. I'm getting a decent bit from trade. Religious, I'm not going to do anything with yet. Economic is good. Just always. Like, economic... Like, I'm, still, I'm getting more from tax than I am from trade. But I've also got a lot of Diplo. Aristocratic is always great. Like, getting this soon will just make everything cost less. It'll just make all the military stuff cost less. I really don't need money. Kind of always go... I feel like I go... Does, is aristocratic fitting for Longo? Like, even if it is... Like, obviously not now. But once we actually become... A, like, a kingdom? But it makes sense. Did, did Congo have strong... A strong aristocracy? I don't think it did. I feel like it's far more... Centralized. Well, Manny influence plus five percent. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't take any ideas until I have this cost reduction. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's better to have it. You know. <laughs> I 
or Mwene Congo is within our society a proper monarch already. In the eyes of these pale men, we have we are, however, barbarians, tribes, people. Of course, these people have no idea about our culture, but as long as they don't see us as the same, uh, as long as they don't see us on the same eye height, we will not be able to learn from their technology and ideas they bring. Oh, there's another explorer right there. That's not that hard to get, either. Make a bunch of ships. Expensive, though. Um... Ooh, that's nice. You know, it's kind of inevitable, though, that the Europeans will get stuff. As long as I'm strong, it actually won't be that hard to take their colonies, probably. Oh, maybe I want to go... Hmm. We'll see. See about a lot of stuff. Hmm. Oh, this too. Uh, Nzimbu sources. Traditionally, the shells of clams, the Nzimbu, served Congo as the currency. They are relatively easy to break, and because access to gold is rare in our home region, we need these shells to continue mining, uh, minting the currency. Fortunately, there is a good source for more of these valuable shells. The islands next to the coast of Luanda are home to the clams. We should expand our territory and integrate this coast to increase our access to the Nzimbu. So, gems instead of slaves in Luanda. That's very good. A lot of production in Luanda and Benguela. And a center of trade in Benguela. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Hmm. If I dominate trade before the Europeans show up, it'll definitely be harder for them to do it. Yeah, aristocratic. Manny. What are the- I'm gonna- what are the Manny? I'm gonna read about you. That represents the family of land- nah. And the aristocrats in your country. Hmm. Giving the Manny free reign over our military would strengthen our capacity. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Anything else related? Anything unique? Hmm. Huh. I don't know, I feel like aristocratic is weird here. Let's not do aristocratic. I'm definitely feeling like we've got so much Diplo. wait on it. Let's see if we can at least find the Europeans. I forgot about these guys.
Hmm. Uh, sure. Edmund. Hmm. Uh. Any lose and loyalty. I think that'd be fine. Or admin. Do I, I don't really need admin. Hold on. Let's take. Ooh. Maybe I do need admin. Get the admin. There we go. Sure, you can be like a little extra there. Got a first, second, and third armies. Oh, I'm training in slaves. Not good. Not useful to me. Arab Saint ain't anything to me. Six, uh, get a point six on that. Absolutely a point seventeen. Wow. Wow, we're doing so well for money, for what we gotta spend it on. Might as well have you drill. The other guys are doing stuff. Excellent. All right. 
All right. This has gone pretty well so far. Like, we have thoroughly consolidated Central Africa. Like, this couldn't have gone much better. At all. Like, the only thing that could do that would be better is maybe... Hmm. Like, I would like to start moving up around here, and then I... If I can get over there... If I can get just, like, the entire coast of everything, that'd be great. <laughs> Colonize every single province. It's gotta beat the Europeans to as many things as possible. so much money. Honestly, I might as well just start colonizing these and just leave them, because no one will rise up there. If I can get at least that. I'd also really like to get... Can't even reach that one yet. Even when this one's done, I will? If I can eat my way across Benin as well, like, this... The world... Ripe for the picking. Africa will be ours. It'll be a problem when we start bumping into the Ottomans. <laughs> but, uh... That's a problem for some other day. So this has been a lot of fun. I'm really glad to be back streaming some EU4. I want to stream a lot. I may make... Oof. I may make Saturdays my stream days here. Like, there are other things that I work on that have been taking up most of my time. So, once upon a time, I streamed, like, every day. EU4 stuff. And it was a lot of fun, but I felt like I needed to start working on other things. If you would like to know what those other things are, by all means, DM me on Twitch, and I will totally tell you. And I may just tell you even if you don't ask. <laughs> um... But my... I would like to stream... EU4. Or just... Stuff. Like, I'd like to try and maybe make it a Saturday thing. Maybe also possibly a Wednesday thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just keeping it chill. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm really glad that people showed up after not streaming for months. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you have a good night, Exquisite. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, so... Gotta make sure to remember my outro. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Rock over London, rock on Chicago. I am Cy Rock Omega, and have a nice day. Later.